Hello everyone, how you all doing? Ali here, Halafu Travel Guy. Hope you're all really well. So today, finally, I'm doing a Philadelphia's review. Now, if you followed my Instagram, you know that I actually love Philadelphia. That's a little spoiler for the video. Uh, I'm actually gonna go to Philadelphia. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna get around to a couple of other fried chicken places like Miami's. I know you guys in the comments are telling me to go to Miami's. I promise I will. Florida's is another one that I've been told to go to. What I'm trying to do is go through a lot of these takeaways that are quite famous up north for their fried chicken burgers. I wanna review them individually, and then I'm gonna get the best three, and I'm gonna put them in like a big sort of comparison video to actually see who's got the best fried chicken burger. So just before I start the review, because this is in the corner of my eye, so from when I'm filming this, I don't know what the situation is in terms of when I release the video, like it, there's always a bit of a gap, but as it stands right now in the UK, this stuff, hand sanitizer is so incredibly expensive because everyone's buying it because we need it probably buying it too much you've only got two hands bro um you're rubbing it on your feet or something come on you've got two hands but anyway it's so expensive so if you're from like the us or i think i have a fair few uh, malaysian subscribers so hey guys anyway let's crack on with the review make sure to send me this but let's crack on with the review the food should be here any minute boom the food is here so for you guys it's been a second for me it's been about 20 minutes so i've done a hand sand routine i've got a few of my favorites here so i'm just going to go over them individually so if you go to philadelphia you know what to get so Got to start with the, my favourite thing, right? Because I'm excited. This beast looks... <sighs> okay, I don't know if the camera's doing that justice, but this is massive. There's two massive breasts inside. This is the spicy. So they've got their own signature coating, but they've got their own signature sauce as well. So you can get non-spicy, which is the normal breaded chicken. However, the spicy is a normal breaded chicken with spice as well. So I've got some mayonnaise, got some cheese in here as well. I want to crack on, guys, because I love this meal. Hey man, I've been here a ton of times, a ton of times. Honestly, it's never, sorry, my hands are super dirty. Okay, let me start again. <laughs> I've been here a ton of times and I promise it's actually never ever let me down. I really, really enjoy the burger. Now, like I said, it's a double spicy chicken burger meal. So it comes with chips and a drink. And sorry, that was just my phone there. I'm gonna throw that away uh, <laughs> so it's a massive massive meal the chicken breasts are actually genuinely massive like each one feels like what you'd get a normal double burger right you'd get say two chicken breasts each one of these breasts feels like a double you put them on top of each other it's absolutely massive the spicing is really good as well a lot of places say they've got spicy burgers and they're not that spicy really this place stays loyal to that super spicy let me just try and put this up to the camera so you've got a little bit of a better view Right, so I'm going to crack on with this. I'm going to move on as well, but honestly, this is so good. The batter, the actual signature coating is absolutely fantastic. The chicken always, always tastes fresh. I think because they're so busy that everything is pretty much made to order because everything they put out just gets sold straight away, right? So it's a really, really fresh, large, spicy, delicious burger. I cannot wait this enough. If I go to somewhere like Florida's or Miami's, who I keep getting told to go to, they've got a lot to live up to, you guys. Guys, I just wanted to show you how much um, actual meat is in this. This is absolutely massive, but make sure to get the double. This is just a super meaty, delicious burger. Look at that. I mean, come on. That's super fresh. Like, it's delicious. It's super warm. It's all white meat. It's two massive breasts in that. Okay, next thing I like from here is actually the wings. The wings are absolutely fantastic as well. Also, I didn't mention before, with the burger, I actually always dip it in their gravy. That's always a, a good touch. I like that, but... Let's try the wings. Yo. Yo, that gets a hey man too. I'm a fan of hot wings, but these are super soft. They're actually much spicier than regular hot wings that you'd get from a takeaway. They're super soft. The, I like the fact that the batter has a bit of crisp to it. It's not just soggy, but it's still soft. So the batter's a little bit crunchy. But the meat is super soft, comes off the bone really quickly. It's got, I, but the only thing I would say is this is a little bit spicier than your regular hot wings. So if you like hot wings that you'd get from maybe like Dixie chicken or something, these are significantly hotter. I, I, I would say that. And if it's too hot, what you can do is just dip them in to the gravy and you're sorted. 
Man, I'm gonna munch through these wings, right? And then I'll go on to the actual pieces of chicken as well. Right, moving on to the chicken. I've got four pieces of chicken. What I normally do is stipulate what pieces I want. I did this time, I thought I'd just go for a lucky dip. So I've got a breast, sorry. I've got a drumstick, I've got a small thigh. Ooh, I've got two thighs. Okay, so I've got two drums and two thighs. Okay, so as you can see, this is the drumstick. They, they do nail the batter here, guys. I mean, all the meat is super fresh. I like the fact they're not stingy on their portions. The pricing is really good. I'll put all the price in, in the description. But they nail the batter. That really makes it because I don't like when the batter's super soggy. It's got a bit of a good, really good crisp to that. And the spicy stuff is spicy. This, however, is not spicy, so let's give it a go. That's seasoned and spiced fantastic. This is much better if you're not looking for a spicy uh, meal because, frankly, the balance on that is really good. There's a decent amount of salt. Um, I like southern fried um, seasoning anyway because it doesn't have, it's just not too hot, right? So if you're into that kind of stuff, get this. I always like to get both. So what I'll do is I'll get a spicy burger and then I'll get chicken, which isn't spicy. So I actually like to have both. But if you want a burger, make, remember you can always get the spicy burger, but just the non-spicy variety. That's really good. So this is super tasty. The only thing I would say is the burger is unbelievable. The wings are absolutely fantastic. And these are, are, are really good as well. So maybe not on the same level as the other stuff, but certainly really tasty as well. Oh, I actually always forget the chips. And um, I get a few people ask me what chips mean. Uh, so I should actually, I, I forget... In my head, no one watches these videos, but um, some of you do, which I appreciate. <laughs> so for people that are not from the UK, we just call chips, French fries, chips. We just call them chips, man. Um, technically, there is a difference. Chippy chips tend to be thicker, but you know, chips, fries, it's all the same to us. But anyway, these are the chips, the fried rectangular potatoes. They're good, they're crispy, they're warm. I can taste the potato on the inside so they're not too cooked. Um, they're pretty decent, aren't these? I don't think I actually reviewed the gravy for you guys as well. That's a regular for me. I just like it as a dipping sauce, to be completely honest. With fried chicken, I like gravy. It's got a mild, slightly oniony taste. That's really tasty as well. I'm going to finish the rest of this meal, guys. This is awesome. But like I said, make sure to get the burger and the wings for sure. But hold on. Yo, if you guys know me, you know... I always have the Diet Coke on deck, right? But today, I've got the Rubicon Mango. I just, sometimes you just have a craving, right? You just have a craving for Rubicon Mango. Oh gosh, my hands are so messy, I apologize guys. But, the craving's there, it's gonna happen. Hey guys, so that takes me to the end of the video and the end of the review. Thank you so much for staying by to the end. It always means a lot when you guys stay by. If you haven't already, please do drop the video a like and also make sure to subscribe. I've got a ton more videos coming. I've got a lot more takeaway videos coming, but as you guys can probably imagine in regards to restaurants and traveling abroad, doing um, videos abroad and, and, and that kind of stuff where maybe I go around and try lots of local dishes, that's probably going to be on hold, I would imagine, for a fair bit of time. It's quite a fluid situation, but I don't think anyone really knows when we're all going to get out of this madness do they so uh whenever it's safe to travel i will certainly do so but thank you so much like i said for watching and supporting the channel in the meantime i'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys